if most of what you see in your dreams in your encounters are plans of the enemy because there's one of us here he only sees the plans of the enemy so i now sat the person down i said it, because the person thinks that the dreams are prophecies i said no your dreams are not prophecies you are, you are a watchman and the anointing that you have gives you access to see the devil's plans all these things you are saying will not come to pass but they are plans and if we sleep it will come to pass that's what you are called to see you are not called to prophesy them because if we are alive those things will not see the light of day but you have a gift and if I'm not mistaken among all of us sitting here the person I speak of has that gift much more because that is the area of the person's calling it's like Elisha that can see here the import of the meetings that are put up to bring darkness wickedness wickedness on the people of God do you realize just as God has plans for your life the devil has plans for your life oh you have not gone deep enough once upon a time there was a woman that a certain church claimed was a prophet so she does something like prophecy and during one of the services a mighty preacher was ministering and she did something like prophecy and pointed him and said ah, he's seen him his car hit a tree and he died that's the plan of the devil she just prophesied it she just said it are you with me but this prophet is experienced he knew that revelation was not from God through the gift of discernment of spirit I will stop there I will not proceed on what happened but you see just like God has plans that you can pray and know the devil also has plans that you can pray and if God is willing to show you you can also know are you with me if you are a watchman and the grace upon you is sensitive to detecting the secrets in the kingdom of darkness the things you are receiving is not for prophecy those things are subject to change if the ministry of your watches will prosper those things will never come to pass because Elisha had that gift and she could hear what was being said in the king's chamber the king decided to send the army to bring Elisha down. Any one of you that has a, the ear to hear the secrets of darkness, listen to me. You become a major object of satanic attack. You you need to become used to spiritual warfare. Uh, I've seen people with this grace. They say, "Why is this? That my own attack is hard. Ah, it's too much." I laugh. You don't know what God called you for. That's why you see people that know that they will live to it. Do you understand? They practice at home. People that know that they play soccer. They don't eat pounded. They don't eat apple. They have their diet. Do you understand? That's why I like. If I will watch soccer, it means that, um, what's that guy's name? The Portuguese man. Huh? Ronaldo. He must be on the pitch. Because he's the only one that makes sense to me. I don't know what how, why they call the rest professionals. I, I'm still wondering. May the Lord give you understanding. Sometimes I believe I can I can perform. I know you don't believe you don't, I know you don't believe you don't believe my abilities. <laughs> but you have not heard my story. I played for black soccer. I played for black soccer. I played eight. One of these days we need to buy a ball. Um Alphonse was buy a ball. Let's try ourselves. <laughs> the reason why I like Ronaldo is because I have a, a little insight into the way he, he trains. What he eats. I don't think anybody can match him. His fitness is on the super side. And then you have gifts that can expose the devil and you don't train yourself for warfare. 
you are joking. Satan will come at you with all of his machinery. And that's what happened. The king sent his army against one man, one watcher. And the servant cried out, can't you see the danger? And the solution to the servant's unbelief, fear, was the gift of sight. The moment the servants saw <laughs> the security system around the watchers, his faith was helped. Do you know that the greatest source of faith is sight? Ooh. This building you are sitting in, we saw it. It is madness to try to build this building. It's, you are mad. If you want to build this, you are mad. Especially when you have only 5 million in your, in your bank account. You are a madman. You should be jailed to even conceive that you could build. But you know what? We saw it. He showed us. It's just like you can take away the coat of many colors, but you cannot take away something that someone saw. It's real. No thief can break in and steal it. Nothing. The foundation alone was 55 million. In, in northern Nigeria? You are joking. You didn't steal money from politics? Just faith? We didn't manipulate one person for the building? Think about it. It's only what you see that is yours. Indeed. We saw it. And there was nothing the devil could do could, to stop it to, from coming to pass. The Bible said, They that observe lying vanities, they forsake their mess. What is real to you? What is real to me is what I see. I saw it by God. And heaven and earth can pass away. But that which God shows, he will bring it to pass. He will bring it to pass. Guess what? I've seen something else. And what I saw is that this hall became too small. We now had, we now had a, a positive problem. They can take your, your car. Just like I went to report in Lagos. They stole my, my car. Toyota can With good air conditioning. But you know what? There was something. The devil. Could never take away. Things that I saw. I've seen nations bow. To the cross of Christ. It doesn't matter how many constellations of demons. Guard the territory. seen it the language of the of the water is i have seen it i have seen it and when god wants to train watchers what he does he will, he will ask you son of man what siesta to train your perception because it's what you see that is truly real the things that are seen with the natural eyes they are temporal the bible says that means if all of the sight you have is the scene that comes from your eyes you are blind. I see. You don't need to beg to see. Just stay in intercession. The faculties of sight, of perception, of understanding, that will pop open. When those faculties pop open, then you can say like David, I have more understanding than my teachers. There's an economy of knowledge that is beyond that which a man can research into from the soil of his soul. Oh my God. Get ready. If God gives you intelligence about the kingdom of darkness, the first thing you should expect is you become a major object of satanic attack. And I need to teach you how to deal with attacks. Many of you are afraid. Oh, it's too late to be afraid. Though. You know what? Because the Bible says we wrestle. It didn't say we are about to wrestle. We are practicing. You are. He said what? We wrestle. <laughs> Your opinion was not sought before the wrestling was scheduled. The Bible says what? We wrestle. 